a very slight improvement to make your ADS-B reception better. Up there is my homemade Blue Peter bodged antenna for ADS-B, tuned for 1090 megs. That's an N-fed Slim Jim, it's basically a folded dipole. And that um, looks for traffic basically out to the northeast. Um, you can see there's a gap in my sky there, that's where I can see most of it. Little ridge there stops the low stuff. And then up to the north and in every other direction, there's trees and then behind the house, there is over there, there's a hill, so that's no good at all. Um, there is another way, if you don't want to faff around making a folded dipole, there's another way to increase the range of the standard antenna that comes with DVB-T sticks, and that's to cut it down into a quarter wave. I'll show you how to do that as well. That's the easiest way to do it, and we'll come back to that quarter wave later because we'll need it for the next project. The next project's the one with a little bit more relevance for drone use. Right, first of all, let's go for the Slim Jim, an excellent antenna. My dad used them in the 70s. He's a radio ham in the UK. Well, my pen's going to run out. <laughs> and a great website and calculator for these things to go off and look for is one from M0UKD. All measurements now are going to be in centimetres. I'll put a link to that website in the bottom. But basically, a Slim Jim is, it's a, uh, oh, that's a terrible drawing. <laughs> It's an N-fed folded di um, dipole um, and it gives you a little bit of gain so it's quite good. And you're looking here for a length of 20.1 centimetres and you've got a gap here but down here that is, what is that, that's 13.2 and then the quarter wave matching stub is 6.6. .6. That's going to be slightly different to the next advice I give you but 6.6. .6. And then your feeder comes in here with uh, the uh, earth side, the outer, going to this side, and then the inner of your coax going to this side. And that's about it. Um, that needs to be about 0.7 millimeters up from the front of bottom to be matched. Again, we're not transmitting with these antennas so it's no train smash, it doesn't really matter. If we were transmitting, if we were using this for something else, then we'd, we'd spend a little bit of time with it. Um, the other thing that makes this horrible, um, if we're using TV coax, is it's all, um, it's all wrong anyway. It's the wrong ohms, it's not 50 ohms. So the other thing you can do, uh, if I can find it, with the stock antenna that comes with your DVB-T stick, digital video, video broadcast terrestrial stick is you can cut down the stock antenna tries to get it in shot the stock antenna the whip antenna that comes with it this is um, it's too long it's too long because it's designed for digital video broadcast for, for TV digital telly and digital telly uh, operates sort of between 400 and 800 megs roughly 470 to 850 so if you cut this down, we need 1090, so you've got to cut it down. So a good idea is to take that little rubber cap off there and then unscrew that. And what we really want to do is measure from the base of the antenna, because remember, that's part of it, and come up 67 millimeters. And oh look, handily, I seem to have done that right here. See, this isn't going to be anywhere accurate, really. Again, if you're transmitting with it, you would not do it like this. Let's just make sure. Right, is. is it by magic? <laughs> there it is. So, I kept the little two hickey off the end, the little rubber two hickey off the end. So that pops back on there. Wow, it's almost like a real professional antenna. And then, of course, it sits back on its base. Now, that alone is not enough, but that's that's more that's that's closer to the to the frequency we want, 1090 megs. The next thing we're going to do is give it a ground plane. That's not enough of a ground plane at the bottom. And tins aren't made of tin anymore, are they? Or lids? Not many lids aren't made of tin. So you can bodge it with some tin foil. Again, I need to say it again, we are not making a transmitting antenna, so it doesn't really matter. 
if we were making a transmitting antenna, we would be taking a lot more care about this. So we will, I will affix this to this, and then we'll give it a go. We'll do a range test with the other, um, with the other, with the other Slim Jim. Other thing, I'm going to extend the range of it. You can do it with just standard old, or stand the range. I'm going to put it up higher. So I'm just using TV extension cords again. It's subpar. It's not the thing to do. It's all about keeping it simple and a quarter wave on a stick is as simple as it can get but we'll use it again there's a reason for making that quarter wave it worked pretty well it worked out to about 60 nautical miles so you can clearly see where my reception comes from in that little picture the slim jim much better much better low angle stuff or further away stuff because of the high gain